you have to take a picture, man. What do I do? First, I have to tape this down so I don't go over the line so that the lawn doesn't get upset. And I gotta come in here. See, I'll tell you what we can do. We can make a video on how to paint with salad. I'll be on public television too. Okay. You should have waited till I got all my colors out. so messy. But I hate to wear anything good. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm ready. Well, I'm almost now. Now I've got to figure out
shit in my mind. I could, I could sit here and visualize a house. Exactly, exactly. I'd know exactly what it's going to look like when it was all done. Here. The whole secret was watercolor, I think. It's having good paper. This is 300 pound paper. If I was trying to do this on the stuff that you get in the old like in wash shops or something, this 185 pound paper or something, uh -huh. you just, no matter what you did, it wouldn't turn out good. And when I was, I was. And I went back into watercolor, read some things on it, and all of this sort of thing. And every, the thing is, get the best you can afford. That's easier because who can say if you're right or wrong? No. Now, because I'm going to have. Um, Then I've got to put the, the colors in well, so that the colors, colors will, will be coordinated with the, now with the reds will become too red, but I can't sell red down here. Red ball seams. I have red ball seams down here. The yellows and, and um, a little bit of orange you get occasionally. Yeah. Too warm for maples, isn't it? See, that's a mistake. Didn't want too much red in there as well. That's on a smooth paper. This is Almeida's paper, this old. And, and I had a pad that I took with me when I took that class last year. Yeah. It's old, old, old stuff. And the instructor said, where in the world did you get that? And I said, well, I told him. And he said, he said it's probably 30 years old at least. This juice, what I can. <laughs> this is not my favorite kind of paper. I mean, it really isn't. I should have put in the, the white shows up much better than the darker stuff. Now, I think, well, yeah. That's too light. 
I would never go back to Philly. Never. This is so much better. Um, depends. I could whip those things out like. I put a background sky in and then I would do um the general thing and take that palette knife up. Mm -hmm. Do you know, there are people that come up to me and they say, oh, we bought one from you 20 years ago or 15 years ago or whatever. We just love it. We've got a light over it in the living room. And the, there are people, the, the people that like my acrylics do not like my watercolors. <laughs> I do too. What are acrylics? Uh, I have an oil. You didn't have to glass them. That one of the, the things in the living room, my family room, are acrylic. Yeah. There are a lot of people that use acrylic on paper. I think that's so foolish because then why not use watercolor? Because acrylic you don't have to glass. Yeah. Okay, this is going to be filled in with trees anyway. This paper is much more absorbent than my other. Oh, I bet. Or not as absorbent. The other, I don't. I wouldn't have to use as much paint as I have to right here. Because of the windshield. This this needs more paint. Mm -hmm. Because it sloughs off. Mm. I can smell it's old. It's got um, musty smell? Yeah. Watercolor, you have to work light to dark. You know, like acrylics, you do need dark to light. Mm. I'm not too sure if it'll do it with the with the rough. It does it very nice with the smooth. Let's we'll see what happens. Why did we get this up? Oh, okay. I think we should do a video and I'll sell it to some of the public television. In Jane's studio. <laughs> yeah, this is Jane's studio. Jane's studio. People ask me. Take one. <laughs> People ask me, could we come and see your studio? I said, no. <laughs> they, they visualize skylights and.
opening of the blue trunk. This is pencil. This is actually watercolor pencil. It's going to be really kind of different, I think, when I'm done with it now. At this point, I'll put in a little bit of color, but I can't do a lot because of uh, this is, is so wet, this rough so looked on a certain day. And you know how, how things kind of look yellow on a real sunny day? Yeah. Wow. I thought that didn't work then. Okay, that's it. That's the masterpiece. Yep. I want it can just take it. I'll bet you anything it won't be dry enough to uh, bring it to us this weekend. It doesn't stick to the paper at all, huh? No, but I take it off right away because some paper, I mean, I'm never sure which kind, it'll stick to it. Uh huh. Um, I think it's the cold press. And I, I've pulled the painting up a couple times. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll put on here. I don't know what's a good title for. My 1992. Um. Gosh. by 20. Wood. I put that down to Wally. He knows what I want it in. People ask me, could we come and see your studio? I said, no.